get started. Head over to SERP API Playground and make sure you're on the Google Scholar Profile Result API. Add the desired search query. You can also use advanced search query parameters just like you would do on Google Scholar. If needed, add additional localization parameter, or test your parameters that you found on Google Scholar. We'll be extracting profile data from the profiles hash key which contains data about an individual profile. To paginate to the next page, we'll be using the pagination hash key, which returns a next page token that we'll use to paginate to the next page. Don't forget to use the export to code playground feature that generates boilerplate code for you. Now to the actual code. To extract data from all pages we'll be using a while loop in combination with the pagination hash key. Note that the git dictionary method should be inside while loop to be updated to new page data. Otherwise update data will be the same over and over again. The next step is to append extracted data to the temporary list as a dictionary, and then check if the next page token is present inside the pagination hash key. Note that such an approach to pagination is a subject of change. It will be more user-friendly in the future. And finally, print or return results. If you want to save data to a CSV file, you can do it easily with pandas. All we have to do is to convert extracted data to the data frame and call the CSV method. Give a CSV file name. And that's it. Now let's compare return results to the actual results in the browser. As you can see, the results seem to be identical, so we can call it a successful mission and be proud of ourselves. If you have any problems or confusion, please drop us a comment in the comments section, or get in touch with us on Twitter or GitHub.